Okay, I'm going to make a very quick video on multiplying by multiples of 10, 100, and 1,000. I do believe this is a pretty straightforward lesson, so I just wanted to go over it, um, to go over it right here. So to start, you need to know your basic facts, right? So like here, 60 times three, you ask yourself, what is your basic fact? And a basic fact is going to be, what are we gonna multiply if we take away the zero? Because that zero in 60 lets us know we have six tens, right? This is really six tens. So, but my basic fact is going to be the six, the six times three. Now, six times three we know is 18, okay? But 60 times 30 does not equal 18. 60 times 3 is, well, I take the 6 times 3 is 18, and I'm going to take that 0, and now I'm going to add it to the end of the 18 to give us 180, because the 60 is 6 tens. And here when we're working with tens, a 10 has 1 0 right there okay now let's go over here and let's try if we get 400 times 7 now 400 times 7 well I'm gonna ask myself what is my basic fact here well my basic fact if I take away the ending zeros is going to be 4 times 7 so 4 times 7, ask yourself, what is that, is 28. But my final answer isn't 28, because the 400 has two zeros. Because it wasn't just 4 times 7, it's 400. And since 100 has two zeros in that place value, I'm adding those two zeros onto the end of my 28, which gives me 2,000. 800. Okay. Now, when you look at this, really what you're doing, what you're doing is 4 times 100 times 7 is really what you're doing. I'm taking my 4, I'm multiplying it by 100 because I'm in the hundreds place value because it has my two zeros. And then I'm multiplying all that by seven. So pretty much by doing my basic fact, I'm taking my four times seven, which gives me my 28, and then I'm multiplying it by 100, which is adding my two zeros. Now, where it may get a little confusing or where we get the most common mistakes is, if you get 50 times six, now in 50 times six, when you do your basic fact, you're doing five times six. Now what is five times six? Well, five times six is 30. Now what do we notice? I already have my zero, but did I bring over a zero yet? No, I didn't, because the 30 is in my basic fact. Five times six is 30. So I'm gonna put a box around that because I'm now going to bring over my zero. And my answer is 300, okay? So you can't just look and think, oh, 30 has a zero in it, and here's my one zero over here. That's not how we do it. And that wouldn't make sense. Would it make sense? Could 50 times six just equal 30? No, we can't and that wouldn't make sense. Okay, so last one, if we want to try, would be, what if we had 20 times 70? Well, I'm gonna say, what is my basic fact? Well, it would be two times seven, all right, because that's two tens and seven tens. Two times seven is 14. Now, I'm going to bring over, well, I have a zero here, 
and I have a zero here. You're going to bring over both your zeros and you get your answer of 1,400. Okay, so that was just a quick review of today's lesson of multiplying by multiples of 10, 100, and 1,000.